Well, 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 well. It's been what? Two months? And that's cause I don't have time. And also because I was dealing with some IRL shit. You know, I'm not gonna talk about that, but <laughs> uh, it's been crazy, man. And so I wanted to dedicate this video to show you Hello, how to man. play Rust if you don't have time. How are you, man? Lesson number one. If you don't truly really have time, don't start your wipe on the wipe day. Start it on the second or, or third day of the wipe. And here is a lesson number two right away. Nice. Work on your social skills and learn how to gain people's trust. Do you wanna team up? I'm a good life target, yes. Yes, some people call me a professional life target. It helps when you fight with someone, I run around and they try to hit me. I pretend I have gun, I don't have gun really. And you can shoot them, meanwhile. It's a really good strategic advantage. Hello, yes, hello. Hello, yes. I can't really teach you how to do it because somehow I do it unconsciously and uh, it turns out that people trust me a lot. And that's also a plus point or a skill that you get in the game to actually help you in real life as well. I mean, everyone knows that you cannot trust anyone in this game. So if you can gain people's trust at the game, it's gonna be much easier for you to do it in real life. I think it's more professional if we talk uh, the strategic of the game uh, on the microphone. Yes, I have this correct. Je ne parle pas français. Baguette. Lesson number three. It is number three, right? What is better than working? It is having someone to work for you. Yes, I'm talking about decaying bases and not about enslaving my partner. After the first day of wipe, there's free loot and open bases laying all around the map. You just have to find it. Number four, before you get the guns, you need to test how experienced is your teammate at the game. Now that you know he's bad, go get some guns. Maybe this is the appropriate time to mention that it is good to have a certain amount of luck at this game. Gamble your way to 500 scrap and buy an LR for your teammate. Since you're good at the game, you only need a custom. Next, check out more decaying bases. I think it's looted, but we can try anyway. Research pistol ammo! Make him farm some sulfur. Find more pistol ammo in the turrets. After that you can basically do whatever you want. You have a base, you have guns and you have ammo. So go fight, go out have fun. And so after less than one hour of playing, you're playing the end game. After that my teammate actually got a clan base unlocked. Apparently they left the server with all the goods still in boxes. So now that you got a case and shit, you can peacefully log off again. This was a comeback video guys, thank you for watching and uh, I, hope, uh, I hope I can make more in the future. Yeah?